Another thing that corporations do, and what corporations do is the basis of what empires do, corporations may go into impoverished areas that have little or no resource wealth, and they do it just to exploit the available cheap labor in those areas. For instance, instead of paying workers in Ohio $20 an hour plus benefits, the factory moves to some poor part of Alabama. When the workers in Alabama begin to organize and start agitating and resisting the exploitative ways, the factory moves to Mexico. When the Mexican workers begin to organize, as they've done a number of times, the factory moves to Indonesia. All the way to Indonesia, there's not, Nike has done that. Now, there's nothing in Indonesia for Nike shoes. They bring all the materials, all the technology, all the machinery, everything. It's called outsourcing. Because, and it's profitable. They can go through this, this expense of moving all of this stuff halfway around the world because instead of paying $20 an hour, they pay 12 cents an hour. You know, we, we think about we Americans who never work. Who, would work. who here would work for 12 cents an hour? Don't think, that's, why is that? Why are they willing to work? Because they have less self-respect than we do, or what? It's because we, our labor conditions are at a level or a stage of historical development that we don't have to work for 12 cents an hour. My grandpa, at building the subway, made $2 a day uh, in the New York subway. Uh, he, he had come from Italy in 1904. Another grandfather of mine came from 1887 from Italy. And again, worked as a, a tinkerer and such for subsistence for coins. That was the condition of labor, and that's the condition of labor ruling groups are trying to get us back to right now, today. So the struggle, the imperial struggle is also a domestic struggle. It gets replicated, much of the same thing. You know, you can, you can, starve, you can starve out workers in Alabama, you can starve them out in Indonesia. So Nike goes to Indonesia, which is a nice little fascist state, you know, where there isn't much way of resisting or organizing and such. And it does it not to give us a break. The shoe, those shoes still cost an awful lot. But they don't go all the way over there to give you a break and give you dirt cheap shoes. No, they you still got to pay two hundred, three hundred dollars for some of these shoes or more. And that's and that's because the whole move is to increase the margin of value that's expropriated, that's accumulated, and that's done by suppressing labor. The whole process is called outsourcing. That's what the corporations call it. They've got a whole bunch of nice words for the terrible things they do.